one of the failure modes of traditional ERPs is that in order to build something that's big enough for everything and everyone, you have to build a lot of things that are irrelevant to an individual in that operating context because everyone together is using it. But, you know, the 15 fields in this that I never need to see, like, why are they in front of me right now? And that makes it really difficult and less fun to interact with. So AI is powering how we do so, are able to do so much of this because the the interfaces that we present to the marketing operator who needs to be in the system, who wants a shared source of truth about the product are different than the interfaces that we're presenting to the inventory management team and planning and buying team. Mm -hmm. But they touch the same core chunks, data warehouses, basically. Yep. And, and that allows us to create a much more um, fitting and bespoke experience within the software than legacy systems were kind of, you know, reasonably able to deliver. Yeah. I mean, and they were so, so focused at doing one thing, but like you said, the data is the same, right? Yeah. You think about like, you know, digital twins are big, right? Like you can't do that if um, you can't create a representation of the real world, if the systems don't talk to each other. So